Hey team, it's John. You are on the JRB Tree Climbing Channel. I just showed you in scenario one how we can use this system to SRT climb in a conventional situation where we used a throw ball or left a paracord preset in a conventional tree. And we've got a system that's all rigged up. It's got its retrieval line built into it. It's got its friction hitch already on the line and we can rig that into the tree. And what you might not be aware of is I devised this system over four years ago. I, at that time, I used the double meech instead of the JRB Ascender, but it was the same system. The reason I never showed it to you is simply because I find DSRT advantageous. But, and for all the aforementioned reasons in prior videos. But this, this is about SRT, so, so why did I show you that system? Well, I've learned from you. I've learned from watching individuals attempt to do a DSRT climb the way I do it to, to execute that double shove, and they have difficulty. It, there is technique involved, and that technique, mastering it, is more significant. It's, it's a bigger undertaking than the technique to SRT climb. So I wanna give you that option. But, but if you can master the double shove, I would go DSRT. So let's, let's talk about the evolution of this system. It turns out that if we are comfortable tying one knot, and that is our friction hitch, we can make the system a lot simpler. We can make rigging it more consistent and we can make retrieving it easier. We can get rid of that retrieval cord. So I'm gonna show you a brand new piece of 9.5 millimeter ghillie rope that I just purchased. You can find links to this and discounts on my website. And on one end, I have a factory sewn eye and a climb rated steel quick link. Now, this entire contraption could be a Scott's locked Bolin. I'm not going to do two videos. You can either use a Scott's lock Bolin or you can use a sewn or spliced eye with a quick link. I don't recommend trying to rig this using just the eye itself and that's because it's simply too narrow. Go with the Scott's Bolin. It's more of a round shape and easier to rig. But here's what we're able to do. I can rig this system and use my paracord preset. As I rig it, it becomes my retrieval line. I'm not saying I'm the first person to figure this out. So if you're new to rope climbing, how did I get that paracord in the tree? Well, I used a throw ball. See my prior video on throw ball basics. And I stash it in the tree and a, in a very secure manner as demonstrated in that video. But now I'm going to attach one end of that paracord to, at the other end of the rope, I have fashioned my JRB end loop version two. I am going to use a running highwayman's hitch. And I'll, I'll get in close here and see if we can't watch me tie that. Put a bite and then a bite over that bite. And a bite through. It's a slipped knot. A slipped overhand also works, but this is a little bit more secure. And that's it. That's it. I don't have to tighten that. I don't even have to lock it. And now I'm going to start to send that up by pulling on the other end of the power cord. And at the point, at the point where the quick link is going to disappear, I pass the power cord through it. Okay, pass a bite of power cord through the quick link. And continue to send that up. So at the current time, I have one working strand on my right hand and I've got two running strands in my left hand. I want to make sure I never lose the, the end of the power cord. And here comes the rope. It's back down to me in my right hand. And now I just have to finish setting it.
Now as I'm running up the trunk, I'm zooming in, we'll get to the crotch, which is significant. There's my canopy anchor. Okay, so we got the canopy anchor. It is a running loop or a running quick link. My primary point of attachment, I reach into my saddlebag and I bring out a longhorn hitch. This is fashioned out of seven millimeter rope, a cord, excuse me, and it uses seven feet. And just to make sure there's no ambiguity, I mean, I've tied it on the line before, but on the supply loop, I put a loose little cable tie. That ensures that if I'm doing this in the dark, I never mix up my loops. But I, I have tied this on that 9.5 millimeter rope before, so I know that the loops are the correct diameter. When I tie my, the nice thing about doing this in SRT system is I've got a secure anchor, so I can I can step on the rope and kind of holds this in place. And and again, I like using knots that are basically foolproof because I I, I can tie this blindfolded. So see my prior video on the Longhorn Agile Hitch, but it's that easy to tie. And if we can master that, we've got ourselves an SRT system. So Anchor is a running loop or a running quick link. My primary means of attachment is the Longhorn Agile Hitch. And my means of advancement is the JRB Garda Hitch Foot Loop. I'm gonna get started and then I'll come down and move the camera. So I know you've got, I've got my back towards you here, but I will point out that I've got redundancy here, right? My JRB guard a hitch foot loop is ensuring that I have two points of attachment to the rope. So if something went wrong with my friction hitch, I'm tied in. Now something rope climbers should get used to is that, you know, the, the fact that we can float back and forth, I know that's uncomfortable in the beginning, but again, gravity operates vertically. So our lateral stability, I mean, I hate to say it, but just enjoy it, just enjoy the swing. Gravity will put us where it wants us to be, straight underneath our tie-in.
Okay, now before we take the system down, we're talking about an absolute minimal, absolute basic system. I use my Garda Hitch foot loop, which has integrated redundancy, and that is how I recommend the system is used. And so the stunt I'm about to do is a little bit more risky because I am removing my redundancy. I am removing my foot loop all together. But talk about what's possible. I mean, you, you might have seen arborists who use a technique we call foot locking. I'm not a big fan of foot locking. It works best if you've got sharp boots and there's a lot of uh, you know, sharp edge boots, not the kind of round rubber boots we might wear hunting. And it, there's a lot of technique involved. But if you've got the strength profile, and, and, and I do, I'll just show you a way that it is possible to SRT in an emergency. We're talking absolute minimal here, right? What do I got? I got a rope with a running loop. I've got one friction hitch, and here's my foot loop. It's just a bite of rope, but I've got enough strength that I could squeeze these two ropes together long enough to propel me up. So here we go. I just take a bite of rope and I squeeze with my left hand. I'm only squeezing for a second or so. And I am able to advance myself. Take a bite of rope until your leg is up. And for extra credit, you can take a, a bite and fold it over to give you even better grip. Obviously, there's some hand strength and some coordination involved in that stunt, but showing you all my tricks. To remove the Agile, Longhorn Agile, well, that's pretty straightforward. Pop one bike through, spin it off, put it in your saddlebag, just like you took it off, so it'll be ready to go next time. To retrieve the system, get both ends of the power cord, make sure everything's clear, and I start pulling down. Where do these two ends of power cord go? Well, they're over. They're in the quick link. I just start pulling down. Now, I know you're not going to be able to see this, but heading up on the other side is that running highwayman's, and it is about to pop through the quick link. And there we go. And if you like, you could start to coil up your system immediately as it hits your hands. And so I think I'll do so. Remove the running high women's with a tug. Finish my alpine coil, my butterfly coil. Here's my power cord preset in my right hand and my left hand. Go around the tree. Slipped. slipped overhand and back up. There you go, there's an absolute minimum SRT system. And what I like about this is this, there's nothing on this rope, right? I, there's plenty I can do with this rope. Um, I could transform it into a DRC, DSRT system pretty quickly, right? Because the agile hitch is so easy to put on. Okay, 
All right, now uh, coming up next in the video series, we're going to start to tackle some of the scenarios that that are more complicated, ones that where you can't really find a viable crotch in the tree and ways to rig that and get an SRT system up there. And uh, if, if appropriate, when I return to that tree, we'll use false crotches or floating anchors. A lot to show you. Thank you.